and Clive Palmer could crash the election night party in two weeks. He wants the High Court to ban the Electoral Commission from publishing preference results until all polling booths have closed. That won't be until after 9.30 Eastern time when the final booths in the Cocos Islands shut. Here's reporter Elizabeth Byrne. Election nights have come a long way, from the manual tally room to today's high-tech approach. Big change in first preference votes. The ABC's election analyst, Anthony Green, is known for calling it right and calling it early. But if Clive Palmer's plans come off, this election night could be a whole lot harder, with only first preference votes available. It'll wind back the clock to 1990 before the Electoral Commission started to do preference counts. Mr Palmer's beef is with the practice by the Australian Electoral Commission of choosing the two most likely candidates for the initial preference count on election night. The only reason it's done is to try and just speed up knowledge of the result. But Mr Palmer says it delivers a contrived result, which risks influencing voters in the West and disadvantaging small parties like his. But if there's going to be an announcement of what the results are, they should be the actual results, not the results that some bureaucrat thought up two weeks before the election. Mr Palmer's lawyers will tell the High Court the practice is at odds with the Constitution. The Commonwealth disagrees and will tell the High Court the measure is justified to ensure a prompt and certain outcome for the electorate. Anthony Green has also questioned the basis for fears the vote in Western Australia could be influenced. People do not sit around waiting to know what the result is in the eastern states. Most people tend to vote earlier in the morning. The voting slows down in the afternoon, so the idea of people hanging around in Western Australia to know what the result is just doesn't make sense. In the meantime, the case has left everyone, including the Electoral Commission, on hold, wondering just how election night will unfold. Elizabeth Byrne, ABC News, Canberra.